Hey, so are you willing to do another reenactment for the show? Oh, yes. You are? Yes, I'm down. Awesome. And, and people, folks, I have no idea what I'm getting myself into, so I should preface this. But you agree? You don't even want to know I what? I like surprises. Okay. <laughs> Today's letter is Saw Day, and the original pictograph for this letter is a mystery. Some theorize that the ancient Saw Day was a picture of a bag, and that it was represented by this baggish looking symbol here. Others believe that this was the original symbol for Saw Day, and that it represents a fish hook. When it comes to investigating the original Hebrew letters, what we've learned is that most of the answers we need can be found in the words of the Bible. That's because nearly all of the letters in Father's alphabet have words in the scriptures that directly correspond to the ancient pictographs. Since there's a dispute on the symbol for Sade, we look to the words. And in the Bible, we find several Hebrew words that help paint the picture of the original pictograph. When the prophet Ezekiel was in Babylon, Father had him lie on his side as a sign for the house of Israel. The word for side in Hebrew is sod. For 390 days, Ezekiel lied down on his left sod, and for 40 days he lied down on his right sod. Sod is side. When we draw the letter sade, what we're picturing is a man lying down on his sod, his side. A few other words that illustrate the name Sade as being a picture of a man on his side are the Hebrew words Sud and Sada. The word Sud means to hunt, and hunting is an activity which often involves laying low and waiting for prey. And the word Sada means to lie in wait. If you look at how the letter Sade is used in Hebrew words, you'll see that it often conveys a meaning of lying down, of being laid down, of lying in wait and waiting. Waiting as a hunter waits, and also as we wait for Yeshua. One of the most amazing Paleo-Hebrew words I've ever seen is a word that's used to describe those who are waiting on the Lord, and not surprisingly, it has the letter Sade in it. We'll talk about that word soon, but you'll have to wait for it just a bit. Okay, so I brought you a piece of pizza. Oh, really that'll cool. do. Yeah. Do you think Easy ate pizza? Can well, I actually, eat it? actually, yeah, you could eat it. It might not be hot. So That's actually, um, if you were to spell mm. pizza in paleo, mm. you would spell it with a sade. Really? Yeah. So it would be because it makes the same sound as sa. Okay. So pe, sade, olive. If it was a Hebrew word, that's how you would spell it. Pizza. Pe, sade. Olive. Olive. Yeah. Okay. Some people have trouble pronouncing the letter Sade, mm -hmm. but if you think of pizza, then uh, you should be good to go. <laughs> yeah. And actually, yeah, and it gets, you know, pizza spelled with a Z? Right. So the letter Sade in, in Hebrew gets transliterated as a Z in English. Oh, okay. So that's okay. why it's City of Zion with a Z. Right. But in Hebrew, but it's, it's actually a Sade. Zion. Wow, Sion. Sion. Wow, yeah. interesting. 
All right, enjoy. Thank you for your. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you, easy. <laughs> My favorites is uh, 1 Samuel 23 26. It goes, and Saul, uh, his name is Shaul, right? Shaul. And Saul went on this side, on this sadi okay. of the mountain, and David and his men on that sadi of the mountain. And uh, it's, it's pronounced uh, met, met sadi. Metzari. That side, Metzari, on that side of the mound. Shaul, Metzari, and David, Metzari. They each chose a different side. Okay. Another great one is uh, when the psalmist uh, says, A thousand shall fall yes. at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. I like the word nigh even. <laughs> yeah. uh, this this pretty much lets you know it's definitely the side. Yeah. It's used for side, spoken as side. Uh, when you lay on your side, when you stand by someone's side, when when someone comes and stands by your side, when you stand on that side of the mound or you stand on that side of the mound. Yeah. Sadi. It's one of my favorite uh, pictographs. Now I see it as a. Uh, a man laying on his side, and uh, the way it's written, looks like he's standing. He's on his right side, facing to my left side. That's the way I see Saudi. Now, uh, to me, Saudi, you're 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 on father's side. You're leaning on father. You're lying down, waiting for father's instruction. You're. Yeah. You're leaning down, being silent before the Lord when He's talking to you. You are, you are leaning down and lying down on your side as, as a, a follower of Yeshua. You're, you're laying down your side as you're, you're, you're being careful to always listen to the Holy Spirit and you don't put your own flesh into it. Instead, you keep yourself at His side. You keep yourself on your side. Don't let, don't let your flesh rise up. That's just the way I see it. Now there's better ways, but uh, that was a pretty good but, explanation there. But when you love Father, that's pretty much the way it feels. Yeah. Maybe I maybe I explained it in the feel way more than <laughs> more, more than teaching, but sometimes I go on a rant. We love Father here. We're on his side. We're on his side, which brings me to we we uh, have a king, and we are on his side. And uh, our king is on the side of Father, our creator. So let's go over his name. This is the king of righteousness, the righteous king. Melech Sadiq. Sadiq. Melech Sadiq. Now in English, they, they call it uh, Melchizedek. Yeah. And, uh, but it is Melech Sadiq. The righteous king, Sad Ik. Yeah. So uh, you cannot you cannot use the word uh, righteousness without uh, without Sadi without being uh, watch. You could be on your on your face. If you're on your front side, you could be on your back. If you're knocked out by an angel, for example. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, angels show up. Sometimes you knock out. They have to bring you back. So. So you could be on your back side, you could be on your left side, you could be on your right side. You could be on their side, you could be on father's side. You could be on that side of the mound, you could be on that side of the mound. Sad, Sadi. Uh, it's definitely used for the side. And Sadi is definitely used for uh, righteousness. Yeah. Father loves his righteous uh, children, for sure. So one thing that's interesting is he he says in a couple places that he loves those who pursue righteousness and the the pursuing part is like is a nice way of saying it in english but in the hebrew uh, the word is to basically hunt it down 
Like you are a robber looking for a victim. <laughs> wow. You, you hunt down righteousness. You, it's something that you chase after. You, you get up early in the morning and pray before before the devil can say good morning. That's what you got to do. Yeah. And then you, you got to remember when that when uh, when the temptation comes, you got to always uh, listen to Father. You got to choose it. You got to want it. You got to you got to pursue it. Yeah. Yeah. Father loves those who pursue after righteousness, who seek it. Yeah. A point related to pursuing and chasing down righteousness. Uh, this is something that you had actually explained to me many, many, many years ago. Because um, there's this verse that, it's something that Yeshua said. Since the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom has suffered violence. And the violent take it by force. Yes. Those who work hard and uh, taking the kingdom. Violence means aggressively going after it. Yeah. It doesn't mean killing people. <laughs> right, no, in the it's, name it's of the along Lord. the same it, lines as, as yeah. pursuing righteousness. And it doesn't mean demanding people. It means you pursue it hard, you pursue it with a, with a high passion. That's, that's probably a better way of doing it. A very aggressive, high passion, seeking it above all other things. Yeah. Yeah. And that actually... Um, you know the word harpazo in Greek that's used for rapture. The, the rapture? Uh -huh. Lots of people believe in the rapture. Um, we we believe that he's going to hide us through what's coming, but that's a bit besides the point. It's beside the point right now. It is beside the point. <laughs> it's beside it is indeed. the point. But that word harpazo is in that scripture. So when Yeshua says, the kingdom has suffered violence, the violence take it by force. He's saying the violent, the the aggressive, like the the people who are pursuing righteousness, harpazo it. We harpazo the kingdom. We snatch it. Like, it's snatch ours. It. It's Grab ours. it hard. He Don't wants let go. us to claim our position in the kingdom. So that's as what his, we do. As his followers, as his uh, servants, as his children. Yeah. Yes, indeed. That's uh that's one very clear way of putting it. And he, he definitely wants you on the side of the sheep, not on the side of the goats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. He wants you on the side of those who stand in the congregation, and not those who will not stand in the congregation. The concept of pursuing righteousness is found throughout the scriptures, from Moses to Solomon to the Apostle Paul. And Father calls those who love him and serve him righteous, tzaddik. It's a bit uncomfortable to refer to yourself as righteous, but if you look at this word in Paleo-Hebrew, you'll see that it's not a measure of how good you are, but of whose side you're on. The root word for righteous is sad, which is the full spelling of today's letter, and kuf, which is a picture of the sun at the horizon. This letter kuf, the sun symbol, in the word tzaddik, is used as a symbol for God. It's written in Psalm 84 that Yohe Vohe Elohim is a sun and shield to us. Yeshua in the book of Revelation calls himself the bright morning star. And Father says through the prophet Malachi, unto you that fear my name shall the sun of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. This verse from Malachi is a beautiful gift from Father to anyone who studies Paleo, because in Paleo, we can actually see the sun of righteousness. The sun is something that is part of his creation. It's one of the things that he made to show you what he is like, and he is light. Since he is light, everything he does is light. He is therefore always on the side, the sod, of light, because that is who he is. He calls those who are on his side children of light and children of the day. As his children, we stay on his side. We trust his judgments, because all of his ways are righteous. One easy way to look at it is the sun, as we see it, has a path that it takes through the sky. In the Bible, this path is called the tekufa, like the letter kuf. 
If you were to follow the sun's tekufa, if you were to be on the side of the sun at all times, it would always be day for you. It would always be light. It would never be dark. It wouldn't matter what time of day it was because you would be on the side of that which is producing light. This is what it's like to be righteous. It's not easy for us to know how to always be on his side, so he leads us by his spirit. He teaches us his ways so we can follow him and stay on his side. This word sadiq is also a picture of waiting on the Lord, and in particular, waiting for his day. Yeshua told us night is coming when no one can work. But after night, we know from experience every single day that after night comes the day when he who is called the bright morning star is coming to rule in righteousness. This is the day that the Sadiq wait for. for a time of tribulation. It's, it's, it is determined that until the times are, uh, are paid, that all the, all the times are fulfilled uh, in the Bible, it is determined that wars and desolations are determined on the world, okay, and on the kingdom. But during that time that's coming, listen, the, the psalmist said, a thousand shall fall at thy side, thy sadi, and 10,000 at thy right hand. Now notice, he says, a thousand shall fall at thy side. In Hebrew, thy side is thy left. He is standing at my right side or he is standing at my side. So in Hebrew, those that, that are not that, that, that uh, let's say those that you don't care about that much, the, your enemies in the future in tribulation, the ones on your left side that you're not noticing, they're going to fall. And the ones on your right hand, the right hand side, uh, the ones that you do notice, those will be by 10,000. And none of that shall come unto you. Not the Antichrist, not his followers, not the mark of the beast, not anything. Uh, 8,000 shall fall at thy side, and 10,000 at thy right hand. On your right side, 10,000. On your, on your left side, 1,000. And that's just to start because Father protects you from what's coming. You're his sheep. He is not sending uh, punishment on the world to punish you. It's not collective. And uh, he distinguishes very clearly between his sheep on his right side and the goats on his left side. So get with it. <laughs> get it together. And uh, Shalom to Jerusalem. It's true what the psalmist said, that his servants delight in the stones of Zion and take pity on her dust. A friend brought us rocks from Israel a while back, and this is one of them. When Ezekiel laid down on his sod, it was in front of a clay tablet with Zion drawn on it. This was the faithful city, the city of the great king, Kiryat Melech Rav, the city of our appointed feasts, Kiryat Moadenu, the place of Father's name, and the land where his house, his bait, stood. It's written, the faithful city became a harlot. So Father had Ezekiel place an iron wall in between him and Jerusalem with battering rams all around to breach its walls.
But before Zion was laid waste, she gave birth to a son. She gave birth to many sons and daughters in a single day. The children of Zion who were born on this day and since then are those who were born in the Spirit as sons and daughters of our Father and of Zion, the headquarters of his kingdom and the place that he will call us home to one day soon. If you're his, you are waiting for this day. And if you're waiting for his day, you are Sadiq, righteous. Okay, everybody, now we have Lucky. He's going to show us how to use Saudi. Lucky, uh, show us how to use uh, Saudi left and Saudi right. That's Saudi left, Saudi right. Show us left, Saudi left, Saudi right. Saudi left, Saudi right. Saudi left, Saudi right, Lucky. No, no, Saudi right, that's it. Now go, Lech. Good job, Lux. You want some butter with that? No. And that's a wrap for Sade. We've done our best to lay it all out there for you. Next time around, we'll talk a little bit more about the letter Koof. See you guys. You want some water? You can drink uh, a sixth of a hand. Rescued and whole